This is the new Fluence RT81 Elite turntable. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this brand new turntable that you can order today. Little backstory on Fluence. I recommend Fluence turntables all the time. They have the RT80, RT81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. And the 85 has another variant where you can get a Nagaoka MP110 cartridge on it. This is the second new turntable from Fluence. The RT81 Elite is a little bit different than the RT81 just the regular version, and we'll get into that. But Fluence is a company out of Canada. They make turntables and they make speakers. I'm a huge fan of their turntables, and it's always an easy recommendation because dollar for dollar, I think Fluence makes the best value turntables out there, for the most part. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the RT81 Elite. <laughs> The 81 Elite and the 81 have a lot in common. The 81 Elite and the 82 have a lot in common too, as well, also. Both the RT81 and 81 Elite come with the Audio-Technica AT95E moving magnet cartridge. Those are really good cartridges. I hadn't spent a lot of time with that cartridge until I get this turntable in. I've been running it for about the last month in my living room, which I usually don't listen to vinyl in because the RT81 Elite comes with an integrated phono preamp. Now you could say, well, the RT81 regular comes with an integrated phono preamp, and it does, but there is a difference because the RT81 Elite comes with adjustable feet, just like the RT82, 83, 84, and 85. So it has the same feet design as the higher tier turntables within the Fluence lineup. It's coming in at a price of $299, which is a $50 premium over the regular RT81. Sorry, this is going to be like a word salad, a model number salad. It comes in at $50 more than the RT81. Comes in at the same price of $299 as the RT82. The difference between the RT82 and the RT81 Elite is that the RT82 does not have an integrated phono preamp and it has a different motor. If you really dig into the specs on the RT82, 83, 84, 85, the motor has a little bit better specifications than the 80 and the 81 and the 81 Elite. Does that make a huge sonic difference? I don't know. I didn't really AB them because I don't have an RT81 here. But let's talk about why I like Fluence turntables. <laughs> A couple of things that I think separate Fluence turntables from the competition at similar or even higher prices. One is the auto stop function. Most turntables in this price category don't have any type of automation. And while this isn't a lot of automation, when the tone arm gets to the end of the record, it will stop if you have the auto stop feature turned on. I get interrupted a lot when I'm listening to music. So if you don't have an auto stop function and you forget you have a record going, it's just gonna go t -t 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 forever <laughs> until you turn it off. With the Fluence auto stop feature, it'll do that a few times and then it'll just stop. Now, it's not gonna lift the tone arm up and it's not gonna bring the tone arm back to the cradle. It's just going to stop. So your cartridge, your needle, your stylus, your tone arm is still gonna be sitting on top of the record, but it's not gonna be wearing out the stylus. Now, most cartridges, styluses can run and operate well for thousands of hours. So the likelihood, even if you don't have the auto stop feature that you're gonna ruin your cartridge or your stylus, it's pretty slim unless you listen to a ton of vinyl. Regardless, I love that it has the auto stop feature. It has saved my rear end many times. The other thing I love about Fluence turntables is the variable speed control. It's just a knob, so you don't have to change the belt to a different position on the pulley to change speeds if you have a bunch of 45s and you well, want to listen to those 45s. Also, the plinths are really solid. And also now with the adjustable feet, it makes the RT81 Elite a snap to get it leveled. Because you should always want a level turntable. Absolute number one reason why I love Fluence turntables is because of the removable head shell. 
I love changing out cartridges on my turntable. You can change out a cartridge on just about every turntable out there, as long as there are screws in the top of the head shell. The head shell just holds the cartridge. However, sometimes it takes a long time. If you have a cartridge that's on a head shell that's already pre-aligned, you can switch out cartridges in the time span of about 10 seconds. And in my opinion, the biggest sonic difference in a turntable comes from different cartridges. So if you have three favorite cartridges that sound a lot different, it's very easy to switch them out on a Fluence turntable. So let's talk about if the RT81 is worth it. As I said before, I haven't spent a ton of time with the Audio-Technica 95SE cartridge, but from listening to it in a vacuum, it sounds great. It's very dynamic, it's punchy, and if I remember correctly, I think probably a little bit better than the OM10 from Ortofon, which is the cartridge that's offered on the RT82 that comes in at the same price point. Personally, I think I like the Audio-Technica better. Fundamentally, this is the same table as the 81, except with adjustable feet. So you're getting one feature that you're not getting with the RT81. And the only difference that you're getting between the RT82 is it's a different motor, not as good of a motor. Usually when I'm talking about Fluence turntables, I recommend everybody start with the RT82 because it shares the same motor as the 83, 84, 85. But if you just want a solid turntable with a solid cartridge that is easy to level out, I think the RT81 Elite is something that you should consider. At $299, it's not too expensive. It kind of falls right in that entry level beginner turntable if you want something good. And since it has an integrated phono preamp, you can hook it right into a pair of powered speakers, which I did with the Vanitude Transparent Zero Plus. I also hooked it straight into the Schkit Sin. So I had this in a variety of applications. I will say that the internal phono preamp is good. It's gonna be as good as the phono preamp that's in most AVR receivers for sure. Some integrated amplifiers are gonna have a little bit better phono preamp section, but those are probably gonna to have to be something pretty decent. I also tried this on the Yamaha AS301, and frankly, I thought the internal phono preamp was a little bit punchier, a little bit more dynamic than the internal phono preamp on the Yamaha AS301. Phono preamp they use in here is a Texas Instruments phono preamp, which I think sounds great. It can be defeated, so if you have your own favorite phono preamp, you don't need to use the one that's internal to this. If you are on the fence with this one or the RT82 or any other turntable out there, I would recommend that you start to research out the cartridge because fundamentally, that's gonna probably play the biggest role in your listening enjoyment simply the cartridge. Being able to level this thing out without having to stack up a bunch of pennies or something like that makes this one a lot more convenient than the 80 and the 81. And now I have no problem recommending the RT81 Elite because it does have those adjustable feet. Bear in mind though, it doesn't have as good of specifications for the motor section as the 82, 83, 84, and 85. I am in love with this Audio-Technica cartridge though. I used to be kind of like an OM5 or OM10, OM5E I thought was pretty good. However, I would choose this AT cartridge over the OM10 or the OM5E and even the Ortofon 2M Red. So if you're in the market for a turntable, I think you should check out the RT81 Elite. Tons of functionality, sounds good. And if you ever want to change out a cartridge, you certainly can very easily. Easy recommendation, huge value. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms, patron only Discord, patron only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description. Those are affiliate links. I will link this probably directly to Fluence unless it's on Amazon too. If it's directly to Fluence, that's not an affiliate link. If it's to Amazon, it's an affiliate link. You can also sign up for Amazon Music Title or Rune. Links in the description. Click sign up. Even if you quit, I still get a couple of dollars. You can also use the thanks button down at the bottom of the video. Buy me a cup of coffee. Put a little money in the tip jar, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen to your new RT81 Elite turntable, maybe, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.